Good morning. You haven't seen the whole thing. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. If you have any unfinished projects around the house, craft projects that you have put off, I want you to leave a comment below. What is it? Is it a cross stitch? Is it some upholstery? Is it some curtains? Is it a gourd or two? What's, what's your unfinished product? project that's hanging over your head because I will tell you one thing that this whole staying at home has made me do I've gone through bags and bags of half started boards and finished them up and each one had some reason that I hadn't yet finished it the purse that I showed you a couple a couple videos ago I never finished it because I could never find what I wanted to use for a strap or a hasp and I just had to sit down and make myself go ahead and do it and when I came across that tassel from the draperies that I had never used because I only had one there it was finally the perfect thing so this is an example of <laughs> one of those unfinished projects and the reason it was unfinished was because I was never all that keen on it. So what happened was this was a power text class that I took and power text is this um, material kind of like a speckling paste except that you buy it in much smaller quantities at a much higher price and apply it to whatever medium you want for some 3d art and I liked it but not enough to buy a lot of it and this was a canteen board and when I cut the gourd, my idea was that I wanted the gourd to be sort of um, look a little bit like a nautilus shell, but with this big square in it, like it was a, a ratchet, like a wrench or something like that. So I kind of wanted to blend like the mechanics and the nature. That was my idea. And in the class, I believe we also used another product to make these gold look like gold coins that we were supposed to stick on here. Well, I. I think I stuck the gold coins on something else. I didn't put them on on this. Now the next part is this little figure and it's all um, fabric. I think we made the body with um, might have been clothes hangers or aluminum foil, something like that, but we made the body and then wrapped it in this quick dry, I think it was also power text. And I'm not sure if the two were meant to go together, but I decided that it should be together. And one of my friends called this the woman in the moon. It fits, right? The thing is it needed to stand up and it needed to have a decent, something decent. And I wanted this part to look like metal and I couldn't find any leftover copper pipes or anything like that. So I used a section of dowel and I simply cut a hole. Ooh, gosh, you can't see it. I simply cut a hole here in the gourd, let's see it from there, and then glued it in the top, and so there it is. And it's a little bit where you can see it here, but from some angles, not. And I'm okay with that, because mainly my goal here was to finish this. Then I knew I needed a base, and I went through a lot of thought on what am I going to use for a base. Am I going to use a piece of marble sample from when we redid our kitchen? Am I going to use a chunk of wood? Am I going to use something metal? And I thought and thought and thought about it and I realized that over by the wood pile, Bill had been cutting some dead trees after the hurricane and there was a slice where he had to make a notch. Big slice, huge slice. This is the rest of the slice. And I thought, hmm, that's got some potential. That's got some possibilities. So I broke part of it off. Um, I think I broke it off right there. That's the part I broke off. So I broke it off and I've got this wedge and I think I'll put three of those felt feet on here, but I broke it off. I had a lot of trouble figuring out whether I wanted to have this be the side that was up or have this with the marks from the, from the chainsaw be up. And I decided to have this as the up side and it's got a bit of a bevel to it so it kind of continues that natural look and the motion so I've got some fire I've got some wood and somebody is going to absolutely love this somebody is going to see this and say oh, I've got to have it 
now that I'm looking at it on camera, I wonder if I need to cut this down a little bit, if that's too tall, or if that's going to be about the right height. I'm not sure, but for an office or something, I don't know. It's going to mean something to someone. They're going to see it and feel it and go, oh, you got to have it. And if you want it, go ahead and buy it, and then you'll have it. So that is The Woman in the Moon. There she goes. Kind of an odd piece, but I've been really good during this quarantine period staying home about simply pulling out projects that I started and finishing them. I'd like to encourage you to do the same thing. Post a picture, leave a comment. What's your unfinished project that you might as well finish? <laughs> I think I've got a couple more in the closet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know if I inspired you. Please subscribe so you get a notification for the next one. Bye.